Hey, hey, Zendesk community, Dominic the CX guy, Dominic the Zendesk guy. I hope you're having a good day. I'm a bit torn between the news that are coming from the stupid conflict, which, yeah, I'm not a very big fan of and I dislike a lot. Anyway, this is another video about how to enhance your YouTube. Uh, see, I'm, a, I'm, I'm affected by this and how to enhance your Zendesk. Today's topic is going to be about what are Zendesk tags? So before we start, I would please like to encourage you to uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, write to me if you want to see some special content, like uh, comment on the video. It also helps the algorithm. There's going to be a ebook on how to optimize your Zendesk in eight easy steps. So yeah, see it in the, the, the description as well. What are Zendesk tags? Very quickly. Um, I'm a Zendesk consultant. I've been one for the past eight years. I've been Zendesk partner for the past two years. I've been subcontracted by Zendesk to work on uh, a lot of projects. And I am here to share some of that knowledge. Okay, what are Zendesk tags? So tags are words or combination of words that you use in Zendesk and you can leverage those in tickets, users and organizations. And you can create those, uh, you can create based on these tags or words, or combination of words, you can create business rules, right? So if you, for example, want to tag a ticket as being part of an order ticket, for example, or a billing ticket or a finance ticket, you can do so by adding these tags against the tickets. You have to have tagging enabled in your Zendesk. I'm going to walk you through that in just a bit. But in essence, yeah, you use tags to enhance your tickets, uh, the ticket resolution, right? So you can use these tags to create business rules based on yeah, the existence or the non-existence of these tags. Um, now, it is very important to know or to note that uh, if a user or an organization has a tag, that tag will be carried across to the tickets of that user or that organization. So if you have a organ an organization and then that is a, for example, has the tag partner on it, any ticket that belongs to that organization or is going to belong to that organization is going to receive the tag partner. And also, let's say on the user level, you have a tag added, which is let's say VIP, this tag will be added to any tickets belonging to that user. And now you can maybe understand the connection between creating business rules and tags, right? If a customer writes to you and they have the tag VIP or the ticket has the tag VIP, then you can treat that user as being special or not. <laughs> you can just ignore them, depends. Every business is different. Okay, so what I wanted to share with you was very quickly on how you can uh, add tags to tickets or what needs to be essentially um, active in your account in order for tags to be added. So share my screen. This is the screen. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Okay, so I'm in my test account. I'm going to admin. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down to settings and tickets. And I'm going to scroll down and I have tags here so I can enable tags. So enable tags on tickets. So if you disable this, then you don't want to add tags on your tickets and this will remove the tag field on the agent ticket form. However, updates to tag will still be possible via the API. Well, that's not necessarily the, the easiest, but you can use, you definitely can use uh, the API to update your tickets. So the tag field looks something like this. Here it is, right? And I can go in and say, okay, I have billing, I have testing, and then I can add order, bam, update this. And here it is, it has the order tag that I've just added. And if a ticket has, if a, I have a business rule that has, says if a ticket is updated and it contains the tag order, then I don't know, shoot a rocket to space. Yeah, that can be an option. <laughs> Who are we to say no? If you disable this, oop, and you save, I am an administrator. So let's see how that's going to look. I still see the tags because I'm an administrator again, but regular agents won't be able to see it. Okay. 
I can't see it either. I apologize. I take that back. <laughs> so I have, I just needed to refresh my screen and now it's gone, right? It's gone and I can't see it, which is a shame because I really want to use tags and I encourage you to, to use them. However, you have to have a convention for how to use tags because uh, you have to have very definitive names as if, for example, you create each agent has the freedom to just create whatever tags that they want, they can just very much clutter the system which, with unnecessary data, which can just not be there, right? So you have to keep in mind that agents should uh, follow a specific naming convention, maybe just have a, an outline of what tags can be used and cannot be used. That would be very useful as well. So yeah, this is what census tags are. And I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Stay safe, by the way.